Welcome to the Select Board, Town of Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, September 19th, 2018, at uh, 7.17 or 18, um, at the Deerfield Municipal Offices at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. Um, we're going to begin with a pledge, so if you'd like to stand and pledge allegiance. I'm going to wait on the minutes. Um, okay. Our... Yes, we'll move to the first item. So we have a, a flame. Uh, we have a, a hearing for a flammable storage license for CarQuest. Uh, Jenden, is anyone here representing? Oh, you want to? Yeah, come on up. Sure. Have a seat at the table and. Hello. Hello. Um, I'll, I'll read this and then introduce you. So, uh, Deerfield Select Board Notice of Public <coughs> Hearing, uh, Mass General Law Chapter 148, Section 13. The Deerfield Select Board will hold a public hearing to consider an application for a license pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 148, Section 13, made by CarQuest Auto Parts of South Deerfield to store 1,500 gallons of motor oil and 500 gallons of fuel oil on property located at 93 North Main Street, Assessor's Map 158, Lot 3 in South Deerfield. The hearing will be held on September 19, 2018 at, uh, at 7.15 in the main uh, meeting room of Town Hall located at 8 Conway Street in South Deerfield. A copy of the license application is available for inspection weekdays at the office of Select Board 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield. Uh, welcome. Thank Tell you. us your name. And uh, my name is Jameson Porcello. I'm the general manager for Jendon's four stores. Great. And um, uh, so I guess we're um, we're having a hearing tonight. We we've looked at your application, and I, I believe the fire department has done the same. Yes. And it looks to be in good shape. I have a signature from um, Bill Swayze, the fire chief. Um, One Can you just tell us a little bit about your operation yes. and why you're requesting this? Sure. Um, we sell automotive parts. The chemicals that we keep in the store are sealed. So, um, uh, and the plot plan you'll see in the basement, I've got 55 gallon drums. They're sealed, they're sold as a drum. We don't take any or open any chemicals. Uh, the front of the store, we have aerosol cans like carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner. That all falls in the combustible area. Uh, I tried to make as good of an assessment as I could and then add some extra on for the license. So if we get a stock order, I should never be over what I'm applying for on the license. Okay. So I'll just give you a little. So basically, yeah. this business has been in, in South Deerfield, I believe, since the 70s? Yes. Or so. yes. <laughs> um, yeah. And they recently just had an inspection by the fire district. So the fire district had given them a uh, list of recommendations, yeah. and, one, and it was um, ascertained at that time that there hadn't been a license for the flammable storage. So oh, they've asked them to come and get the license, so that's what they're doing at this point. Gotcha. Good. Okay. I don't really have any questions because this is the same operation that you've been doing. Correct. Are there, are there any yeah. questions from the public? Bruce? Uh, Bruce, our, is this all interior storage? Yes. Yes. Bruce? Uh, Bruce St. Peter's, um, just out of curiosity, is that all contained? I mean, if it's 55 gallon barrels? Yes, they're sealed. And how is it unloaded, load forklift? We have a forklift. Do you have a plan in case the forklift sticks to a barrel? We have uh, all the safety procedures for the forklift. We have um, also when we found out about this, we got propane cages now for the forklift and the safety cages on there. And we also have the safety latches for the drums onto the pallet. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So I would make a motion to approve the license. Uh, you got to close the hearing first. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll do that. Make a motion to uh, close the hearing. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the license as um, applied for. Second that. Is there any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none. Hearing none. <laughs> 
Oh, it was in favor? Aye. All right, thank you. One thank you very much. One abstention. Um, thank you. Thanks. No, we, Nothing to sign here? No, okay, good. Nothing to sign. We just do an approval to let the fire department know. Yeah, so you're all set. Do you want to take a Sure. Um, I'd just like to make an announcement that at 715 we had an expedited permit hearing for the Dumont Company over at the former Oxford property, but because it was improperly posted, we're going to have to postpone that hearing for two weeks. Um, let's see. Let's so we'll move down to. Uh, cool. Can we just say that the, what the date is for people that are um, here and that are um, watching? What would be the date? In two weeks? Uh, we don't know because it's not posted. It's going to be oh. more than yeah. two weeks. It's going to be more than two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Two it will be more than two weeks because it has to be um, published in the newspaper for two weeks. So it, it will be likely a three week, at, at least three weeks out, probably. It, but but it we'll let people know as soon as possible. I'd also like to apologize for those who have spent their evening coming here hoping to voice concerns yeah. or. Listen. We just found out about that tonight. Literally, half an uh, hour ago. like, yes, about a half an hour ago. How is that going to affect the other ex expediting? <laughs> it's not very it's expeditious, not. is it? Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, so we just have to wait. The, yeah, the plan is to go through that process again of of advertising two consecutive weeks, and it will be back in front of us. Bruce, uh, will this affect the conservation commission? No. There's the separate. That's posted separately. Anyway, this is our posting that was messed up. Okay, moving on. Uh, discussions, items, the cultivation of adult use recreation host community agreements with Sun Mass Incorporated. Is there someone here from Sun? Um, we had, uh, as far as I know, we had approved this list. Last meeting, I thought, but there was did, a did, yeah. There have been some revisions mm -hmm. back and forth, so I think she wanted to have us look over it one more time and give a signature. Okay. Um, I've read multiple <laughs> drafts of this. I think it's good the way it is. Um, so I have two copies. Is it? There is. Still? There's so um, just for explanation, Sun's Mass is going kind of two, two avenues. They're going through the CCC, Cannabis Control Commission, um, as, as will be the, the path after January. And they're also um, simultaneously going through the Department of Public Health for medical marijuana. Virtually do the same thing. There's just two, two different, completely different avenues of um, what they need to go through. So they're applying for both um, a host agreement under both so they can take it to each, each avenue when they apply to the state. For a permit for, for a license, and I believe what we're doing the same thing for Deerfield Naturals, right? That's correct. Okay. So, um, I mean, I, I think I, I don't know if we would be signing this now until we'd have a signature from them. Um, but I mean, I, I'd vote to I make a motion to approve the two post agreements through Mass Sons. I don't know if you want to do them separately. Yeah, um, I think we yeah. I think we need to do them separately. Okay, so I'd make a motion to approve the um, host community agreement between the town of Deerfield, Massachusetts, and Sons Mass Inc. Um, I'll just read the first whereas a uh, second whereas. So, whereas the company intends to site and operate a licensed recreational marijuana establishment um, uh, at 198 Mill Village Road, Deerfield, Massachusetts. 01342, the facility for cultivation of adult use recreational marijuana in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and those of the town. And this just means that it's cultivation only at that address. I um, second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So we'll sign that now. Do you want to sign it? Yeah, you let's. might have separate well, copies we, for us. Or do you have these? Are these, are the, these are the yeah, originals. These are the separate origin, originals here. Okay. Since we forgot to sign stuff last time, yeah, let's, let's sign it right now. Okay. I don't think it does any good to wait till the end of the meeting. Then we have to make separate trips down to sign the things we forgot.
you could start on yes, the second while one. While we're waiting, I'll um, make a motion to uh, uh, sign the host and accept the uh, host community agreement between the town of Deerfield, Massachusetts and Sons Mass, Inc. Um, I'll re read this whereas the company intends to site and operate a licensed cultivation only medical marijuana treatment center at 198 Mill Village Road in uh, Deerfield, Massachusetts 01342 uh, for the cultivation of medical marijuana in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and those of the town. Um, I second that. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I think the certification form is you, you sign it. In, I think that's separate, Kip. Yeah. Do we have a special one or is this any one of these? Uh, yes, we do. Yep, right there. Yeah, and so my only issue with that is that I wanted to have two letters of opposition signed at the uh, non-opposition signed at the same time for Naturals and for Sun Inc. So it's transparent. Everybody has the same thing. We do it all at once. I only see Suns here, and I know I don't know if Naturals has requested one. Did you request you a letter of non-opposition? We're going to move to Naturals. So if you want to come up. <coughs> We're, our host community agreements were still in draft from the town's attorney today. Okay. Oh. So, oh. oh, okay. Well, here it is. Hello, town. Hi. Hi. Good. We were just wondering if you had a letter of, uh, of non opposition for us to sign tonight? No, we're gonna, we, are, we will get it to you tomorrow, though. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. That'd be All great. Right. Um, but there are issues about the. Come on up. We, you're, yeah, come on up. You're next anyway, so come on up. Well, and can we can we vote this one and then move on? Uh, this is, this is we it. can vote and just not sign it yet. Okay. I just want to make sure they both come out at the same time. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I make a motion to uh, sign the um, letter of non-oppositions for Sun Suns Inc. Okay. I second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 This is for the medical marijuana. Correct, right. for medical marijuana, yep. The only, the only thing is this says um, um, meeting held on September 18th. It should be September 19th. Oh, okay. I, okay, I so we'll letter, correct that. So we'll okay. Okay, we'll wait on that. Um, how are you? Welcome. State Thank your name you. and... Okay. Thank you. Sorry I'm late. I just That's back okay. from Boston. No problem. So just introduce yourself and... I'm and Tom Lesser and I, I, re I represent Deerfield Naturals. Thank you. And this is Mark Malone, a principal. Welcome. And uh, Matthew Plotkin, who's Welcome going back. to be the operations manager, the construction manager. Did you have any questions uh, about the host? community agreement? I, I did. I, I mean, I, I just started to look at it, and I'm sure that Mark and, and Matt have other things. Um, it came in when I was actually out of the office. The sure. one thing that I look at immediately is I, I never seen a requirement there be a pol an on-duty police officer for traffic control, which is part of the operational requirements. Um, so I'm really surprised because it's, it's, Where was that? That it's at the, there. it's at the, um, on bottom. page six of eight, page six of eight. I've got page six of six. We only have six pages. <clears throat> so Are you looking at the current? That's Are why you? we were saying, yeah, we have a draft copy that we received from the town's attorney <laughs> today. Is that true? To Tom. 
Yeah. Right. And that and has that in it. It has a, has a paragraph 11, although there is a paragraph 11 already. Your okay. six of six probably ends with a paragraph 11, which is miscellaneous. Right. Yeah. Yes. And all so of a sudden, we have another paragraph 11, which is our operational requirements. And I don't know whether that was improperly that included. Is that the agreement or the other documents? Let me see. Let's, yeah, see what that is. I don't recognize that. Uh, we're, it, not, we're not requiring that. Not so, if that, so if that's a, if that's a mistake, then we're fine, you know? I yeah. don't understand why I, that sure. was in I there. don't know why either, because we only have six pages of, I mean, there should be only six total. Did, right. did you receive that from the town's attorney, this yeah. letter yes. today? Yeah, so maybe, because they sent, Matt, didn't she send another one, a copy of Ho of Sons? Hmm. Yes. Maybe and it was, was it still in there? Maybe it was some things? other towns. Yeah. No, she's working, we're just working with what we've been working with here. So, Wendy, are these the ones that are before us, correct? Yeah. So. The, only, the only reference we have yeah, to the police department is a diversion plan if you have issues. Um, you know, if, if from your diversion, I mean, if the plants are diverted mm. somehow or they're missing. Or Carolyn, I, I understand yeah. it's that the... This is a little bit confusing on the documentation. Yeah. As a documentation, there are sometimes edits to the doc documentation, and then which version are we holding? And so the version yeah. that we got, um, this final version we received from the town's attorney today with this stuff, and there was oh, a, there was a I lot at the end, wasn't yeah, there? There was over. Yeah. Maybe that was. I mean, I mean there was a, there was an amendment to to, to number nine oh, about a, a manager, alternative manager, must be on the premises at all time, and that seemed fine. That didn't seem to Yeah, it means if the manager had to leave for an emergency, there had to be an alternative manager. It, there, there was a, a, a list of, that's of not things the on there. I have. You know, and, yeah, and, that's, and, and that's that, why I was bringing up and say, and that which was, one do we have? That simple. was fine, but all of a sudden, um, we, had, we had this new paragraph 11 with an A, B, C, D. It kept on going on and on. Right. Um. 11. Oh, yeah. What's this? This is training hours. Okay. I don't know what that was. I've never seen that. Good. Not, I don't stuff. think that's us. I think okay. that was sent by mistake. Our stuff You're right. Pretty, it could be for another to... town. I don't yeah. Know. I mean, we, we were, you we're didn't pretty hear straightforward. Anything about that. Yeah. We had, I mean, ours is um, more general. And um, if there were all that kind of operational stuff, we're going to take of care of under the Board of Health regs. We, as mm -hmm. the Board of Health, are going to generate the regs. Sure. And, and so, and the reason why we're going to do that is then we don't have to open up the host yeah. agreement. Yeah, it's a every lot easier to do that we, every time right. you adjust the And regs. if there's no problems, we just go along. But if there's a Understood. problem, we can have a public I mean, hearing exactly on it and, expected. you know, chain the regs, yeah. whatever. I did not but this. Well, this, uh, this cultivation agreement was the one that we had originally agreed to that looked fine to us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the one that you're looking at yeah, now. Yeah, this one is fine. This is, yes, this is the one we are already agreed on, I thought, a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, no, we totally agree with that. Okay, then we can vote to sign that. I think Trevor, well. Trevor's just going to check with Wendy. Well, I asked her if this one that was before us was proper. She's kind of, yeah, so I don't <laughs> Okay. I, I think okay. it's correct. This is, not, this is an old person. Okay. okay. Well, good. Yep, <laughs> makes it easier. It's a, it was just a mild freak out when we had 11 different <laughs> I'm, things I'm, there. I'm sorry. The, the, there was, when we were first starting this process, we were going back and forth, and I had a whole list of stuff. But it, it just turned out that it made sense after talking to many different t towns across the um, state that we handle all, all these, you know, regular operational stuff as on a Board of Health select board level. And we just, you know, call in, call you in, and say, okay, we got this problem going, and then let's, you know, figure out the solution, and and then not generate all these things that are attached to the host agreement. That is, you know, much more, you know, okay. overview kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, allow make us a motion to go then? to the Cannabis yeah. Control yeah. Commission. So I make a motion we approve the Deerfield Naturals host agreement as the one that we have. Uh, I second that. <laughs> Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And I would like to vote 11.
letter of non-opposition for yes. vehicle Yes. Yes. And, and could you just, it would be the exact same one as this one, except we need to have that September 18th date changed to September 19th. Let me cross it out or circle it. Okay. I think okay. You so that it doesn't get lost. Certificate in the position. Yeah. yeah. Give it back. Well, yes. Diana can just run out two new copies and right. let me get some. I think this is Diane. She should mark that the wrong date. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we make a motion on, on that? non-opposition letter? Yes. Sure. To make a motion to sign the non-opposition letter between Town of Deerfield and for Deerfield Naturals. Um, I second that. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Did you have any other questions? Uh, just a procedural question when the timeline is to talk more about the recreational license, the retail, the retail license. You mean the retail license? The retail, the recreational I, retail license. Very We're, quick. We worked out the, the only concern that I had, we would use the same agreement, except we would just put in, instead of for cultivation, it would be for um, retail establishment. So it's the and same th agreement. And a 3%. And a three percent. It would be three percent. Right. Would be um, um, and um, we, what we did. We worked out. It's called a letter of development. Isn't it a letter? You guys still need to discuss that. Yeah, we haven't quite. Well, I would like a, like the whoever gets that license to um, pay five thousand dollars to the South Deerfield Fire District, five thousand dollars to the Old Deerfield Fire District, and five thousand dollars to. Um, South County EMS. It would be a separate MOU kind of attachment. Mm -hmm. The idea is for training and any equipment that um, they need to respond to that um, operation. We actually have um, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in Old Deerfield, there is um, a class going on that will talk about, you know, um, fitting the air packs correctly and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's making sure you have, you know, the fit equipment and all that kind of stuff so that they can respond to um, any instances at that um, location. And it would be a one-time thing. Um, and it's just so that you can they can cover their costs. That seems reasonable. Yeah. It, um, and, but it would be, you know, it would, it would be up, uh, it wouldn't be due until you were, like, up and running kind of right. thing. And you have a sense of when we'll be able to request that and make a presentation? Uh, for the license, um, for the for the host agreement. For the host agreement, I we had set next week. Yeah. Can can I yes. ask, just we, ask we, about we, the? We is are. it possible to put the retail and the manufacturing together so we don't have to have then another host agreement? Um, because I, the retail and the manufacturing, I mean, it's not okay really a big deal. Instead okay of having to do another a, th a third one, we just put <laughs> no, the retail and manufacturing fine. together. And make we it just didn't easier. want um, multiple. That's fine. Uh, I mean, we we wanted the ability to have multiple cultivation. That's fine. But I'm I'm open to putting the um, if you would like, you can have the manufacturing and the retail together. Okay. That would. And you just we we're going to say okay. having a fee attached to one operation of that, right. as opposed to the same fee for both. Right. It was it was the idea was to ha whoever had that license, it would be. The twenty-five thousand dollars upfront. No, I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm uh, now talking about having one for both retail and manufacturing would preclude you from having, a, you know, a retail one with three percent and a manufacturing one. Just because of manufacturing, sense? yeah, I understand. I'm just to explain what the plan is to have this uh, manufacturing. Um, in the retail facility, and so it doesn't really, there's not a different location, it's not we're opening up That's another thing, I'm, so if right. we just put it together in the same host agreement, it would make everything a lot easier. Yeah, that would be fine. I, I mean, I'm okay with that. We, we can think about that over the next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll talk about it yeah. next week. Yeah. Do we yeah. still have the 926 meeting for? That we should be able to um, sign 
because I actually, when I talked to Lori yesterday, or Monday, and I didn't realize that we were going to be able to sort out the separate thing that I wanted for the districts, because there is exposure to the districts, and they are separate from the town, and there's no other mm -hmm. way for them to um, have the ability to make a, you know, get any kind of restitution for anything. So, um, it's just fire districts? The two fire districts in South County EMS. Uh, on our agenda next week, next Thursday, Zach will be talking about um, training. And um, it, it will, I mean, we don't have a cost for training because, you know, this is relatively new in the state, but um, the office of, o, uh, office of OEMS, the state office, will probably have some kind of required training. And so the idea is that, you know, when you get up and running, that money would towards training of uh, that would be required by South County EMS to. Uh, that's that's true. So, the EMTs currently aren't trained to deal with a, a pot overdose if there is such a thing. I don't know. No, if 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 they had a fire at the facility, the fire fire department responders are responding, and then our EMS goes to the scene, and you know to cart people away if they're injured. And the idea is because of um, smoke in the air and, you know, THC is harder to clean or, I mean, when I talked to the fire marshal, it was really quite complicated. So um, this is to give them all a training on how to approach that kind of facility. I know in the eastern part of the state, the fire marshal said that if first responders respond to a marijuana facility, they are automatically given two weeks off from their duty and all this kind of medical care afterwards, specialized medical care. It's, it's, it's sort of like um, the exposures that were happening after 9-11. You know, you have a carcinogen kind of exposure. Well, this is the kind of rehab kind of stuff. So, so. that'll get kind of assembled and we'll yes. visit that next week. Yes, and Lisa sorted it out. Apparently our, our town council sorted it out as, because we needed to find a w legal way that we could have you pay the money, but we're not really a facilitator of money to the district. So if we have a separate MOU kind of letter of a development that you we, we, you would sign, that the money would just be sent to them. And you're trying to have that ready for next week? Yes. Okay. Yes. But we have to discuss it as a board because I'm the one that's pushing these other two to make you pay for it. So, But I feel like our, our districts have the exposure and um, you know, this, we need training and, you know, this kind of stuff. So it'd be a one-time thing. Any other questions? No. I mean, that's, the alternative would be you would train them out of our 3%. The what? You'd train them out of our 3%. Well, no, because we we, they're not part of uh, the town. So a lot of, I think a lot of other communities... Um, Encourage charitable donations. Kind yeah. of thing. That's, no, no, I said I think that's about what it. I said it seemed reasonable. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in okay. the beginning. One time. Thing. That's part of uh, you know when you um, other communities, from what I understand, again from the fire marshal, that's built into the you know upfront amount of money that you're supposed to pay to the communities when you have a host agreement. But they're not part of our town Got it. government. So mm -hmm. I mean they're they're the separate districts. Okay. So this is how we can. So the plan out. is to see you next Wednesday. Yes. yes. And make a presentation on retail. Um, Correct. Uh, we have at 6 o'clock the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Meeting. And I'm anticipating a large crowd because of the flooding on North Main Street. And I'm hoping that most people will down in here in South Deerfield will come so we can make our case to the state to um, be eligible for more money. So, mm -hmm. and to fix that, you know, some of the issues down here. So. I would like to make it 7.30-ish. Would that be all right? Sure. Okay. Do you want to sign all documents that at that time? Hang on to this. If yeah. you could get it to us before then, for the final doc, which doc? I mean. Well, this is the host community agreement. It's ready to, they signed it already. Ready for you to sign. Okay. But we'd have the retail and the, um, Do. it's retail and manufacturing. Yeah, right. Retail and does, manufacturing, does the then the cultivation, and then the um, non-opposition letter. The non-opposition letter need to be signed by me also? Yes. Okay. We, Is that we ready just, now? We just voted or it. Or do I have to do it? We voted it tonight already. Okay. 
Well, we'll so we'll do we'll all of that next week. You hadn't asked for it, so we didn't prepare it. That's fine. Great. Um, so we'll sign the cultivation letter, the cultivation host community agreement, the non-opposition letter. Will we sign that unit? And hopefully oh. the retail. Yes, uh, we, we should. Retail and we should be able to. Retail and manufacturing. I, it's going to be the same agreement. It's just substituting well, out. Have you talked with our council about combining those? Well, she sent us something today, which was off. Okay. Let's say As it said, today's one that we got from council has a whole nother page. But I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm going to be in touch with council yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Great. Tell her that I met with the board, and the board said that they wanted an identical agreement, except it would be for recreational and manufacturing. Retail. Retail, retail and manufacturing mm -hmm. instead you just, of the you take cultivation. out cultivation I, I yep. right. and you put in retail manufacturing wherever that is or whatever the word wherever that, that occurs the definition changes that's all yeah right but we were we were going to listen to the presentation but yeah. we weren't going to decide that because correct we there might be others. there might be others right okay I just want to make that clear mm -hmm. great very good okay sounds good thank you all right. thank you thank you very much good night. Next thing down, uh, get all those to adopt the municipal aggregation plan. Yes. I move to pro, pro, uh, approve the Town of Deerfield's Community Choice Power Supply Program Aggregation Plan and to submit copy attached for submittal to the Department of Energy Resources and the Department of Public Utilities as required by law for approval. Do, do you want to speak on that? Sure. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, you have voted could to. We, could we just get a second and then oh, we can I'm talk sorry. about Oh, a second. It. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> I think uh, within the last month or so, you voted to pursue municipal aggregation. And so you, um, there's been a plan drafted and we posted it um, per the requirements, the public notice requirements in the town hall uh, for two weeks and on our website. And we did not receive any public comments. Um, so now the next step is for you to adopt the plan, and then as um, uh, then it will go to DOER and uh, DPU to be uh, com to, to continue to be vetted. So there'll be a hearing, and, and Wendy or I will have to respond to some questions, maybe you, and then uh, Colonial will assist with that, and it will continue down the process. As they said, it takes several months to get through those hearings. But thank, thank you. you. Okay. Is there any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 No, I'll send them a copy of the certified bill. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Draft letter from the town of Deerfield to Mass DOT regarding tree cutting. That's the letter that's still that's hanging out there. Yes, yeah, that's still here. I, I didn't yeah. see it. Yes, here. Um, it's in there. Is it? It's right after it's, the. It's there with your latest version and Trevor's comments, written comments. Oh. <laughs> so I think Kip and I had a, a disagreement between many. Right, you were like, well, how many is many? Other. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think it's, it's one of those, it's, it's a strange. It's a, how do you quantify it? Yeah. So my concern with, is the letter was, was a little weak just saying the neighbors would like to see. And I think based on the grassroots group that came together and the amount of people I see in here at those board meetings, it's, it's, it's many, but I don't know how to quantify that. So yeah. it's not just the neighbors. So I, I, I'm open to any suggestion as to how else you want to word that but, or if there's any. How about just the neighbors and uh, the residents? Uh, why don't we just say residents in our town? I don't understand why we have to the neighbors, uh, the neighbors say just, neighbors and residents. Right, the, re the residents would like to see. Okay. I, I, would, I think it's a statement to say the residents. Sure. Okay. Is that okay? Constituents. Actually. You all are much better at editing. It's a, it would be okay to say the residents, right? Yeah. Or the constituents. This is what we were. This is the discussion that we were having right here. Um, originally, it was the neighbors would like to see new trees planted, because remember I had brought that up. But we'll, Trevor, Trevor thought that that wasn't as really good as. Anything, so I, I don't. Do you want to just say the residents or? Okay. 
So, when do you can make that change that the residents would like to see and uh, get that corrected and we'll sign it? I'd like to come in during the weekend. Sign it. Or tomorrow, whenever. Hello? Yep, she was fine in the letter. Hey, could I just... Um, could I just ask that, uh, in view of the fact that there were, the letter was essentially approved um, two weeks ago, that we could expedite the signing and sending? Because I've been in contact with MassDOT and telling them that they should be receiving a letter from you, but they yes. haven't received the letter. So. We, sh we should be able to email it, too. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, um, thank you. Thank you, Tim. I'm sorry. Good with that. Could you read the tenant of the letter right now? What's that again? Could you read the tenant of the letter right oh, now? Oh, sure. Right now. Uh, do you want to read it? Well, yeah, he, cool. he's kept signing. Yeah, whatever. Dear Attorney Doyle, uh, on behalf of the uh, on behalf of the Deerfield Select Board, I write to make the uh, make official the town's request already made verbally that that it be kept apprised of MassDOT's actions relative to the tree removal that occurred on certain properties situated at the intersection of Route 5 and Mill Village Road in Deerfield within the MassDOT right-of-way, based on discussions had to date between MassDOT representatives, including you and our town administrator, Wendy Foxman, and town council, Adam Costa. The select board understands that the cutting of trees at the above property occurred without permission or a permit or approval from MassDOT that MassDOT therefore issued a notice of violation to the person that removed the trees and that, the, and that MassDOT is now further investigating the violation as well as evaluating options for proceeding. Um, the residents would like to see um, new trees planted to replace the removed trees. The select board appreciates MassDOT's willingness to respond to the town's inquiries to date. I respectfully ask that Mass DOT continue to update the select board on the status of this ongoing matter. Thank you in advance. Sincerely, get the most. Henry, get the most. Thank you. Thank you. The idea, the idea was not to just find and then goes to Boston and, and, and this is, you know, to try to make the neighborhood more whole again on this issue. Okay. All right. Request, oh, excuse me. Request for comments. From the Zoning Board of Appeals Planning Board. This was before you at your last meeting, and you said you'd all take a look at it before you submitted comments. Or for the bread and breakfast at 194 Lower Road. Did we hear from Dick? I, uh, the only thing I could, uh, you oh, know, I know that I Dick is really good about making sure the sign is appropriate for um, the neighborhood, so that, I, that would be my only concern. I think one, the only comment that I'd like to make <coughs> is that. I know that in the past the town has found itself in um, an awkward position in that if we grant or whoever grants this uh, for the bed and breakfast that it be issued to the property owners, not to the property itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if when it's yes. issued to the property, it goes forever. Right. That's right. right. And, you know, if somebody s sells the property yeah. and it gets converted into something other Yep. Yeah, no, I agree that's with that. That's fine. I, I agree, agree to that. that. Um, I don't know. Diane, well, did you make that? Or are you going to write it? I'll write it here. Okay. Yep. Uh, I have not heard. Did you hear from Dick? About? About he, this. About this. No. Yes. I mean, he, thought, oh, I did he thought there were too many units what he expressed to me. So. Too many rooms? Well, too many units. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't believe that we're, we're not granting any permits or anything that it's up to the zoning board. And I, I just, that was I, his board of health advice. But there were four rooms. But. Hmm. I, that, that's something that the ZBA should to, to to deal with. Yeah. I just wanted to, you know, put in my two cents about um, yeah. You know, it, no, that's very appropriate because that that's sense. been a problem in the past. Yeah. So, what are you voting? I'm sorry. We're just. Uh, we no, our comment. Our, our comment was comment sign about. would be yeah. sign it to be appropriate yeah. size for the neighborhood, and that um, the permit be issued to the um, owners, not the property. 
address. Okay. I, right. I second that. And I, I don't think we need to vote on that. It's just no, passed it's just okay. comments. Yeah. Yeah, just We're all on the same page. Yep. Uh, the tie and bond contract for the MVP action grant project. Diane, do you want to speak on no, that? No, I will. You? Um, so, um, and Carolyn could if she wants. Um, you know, we have um, a grant for um, permitting work um, for Mill Village Road culvert. And um, we have a contract here with Tie and Bond uh, using grant money to do that work. And do you, ha you have a copy in front of you? See the scope in there? It's behind the con boilerplate contract language there. And the $45,000 is just for the engineering? Yes. And permitting. Wow. And permitting. What they're going to do is they're going to do borings and site assessment. Yeah. Um, and what they're going to do is look into where the silt here. Look here. is building up, Kip. Yep. And um, where we had all those problems backing up. Um, yes, uh, Tuesday. In the rainstorm. You said this was using grant money? And yes. We, yep. we were, um, because we're a certified um, community, we were awarded the grant money. I'm sorry. I see it. You just, you, you wanted me to see the scope of the work yeah, that you're doing. Yeah, see the We talked about this a few times that we yes. were going to apply for the grant and then yep. we got the grant and um, we do we have a match but we can meet a lot of that with um, in kind time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is this is in place of the MVP program is in place of NRCS programs that um, the farm bill expires uh, September 30th and the new one is not going to be funded for us. To take advantage. You guys feel I'm you all right with this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be upgraded, obviously, to open bottom culvert. And but what is good about this is that they're going to try to do their survey of the silt that is between five and ten and Mill Village. So hopefully we can part of the meeting next week. Um, we will get the state to participate with us in that cleanup. It's, it's silt from Steam Mill um, Road um, in that landslide in November 2011. I don't know if you remember that, Kip. Yeah, but I was over there the other day when it flooded and uh, it, there was a lot of silt there at the time. There was, there still was also about 35 tennis balls, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of dirt there. So I would make a motion to, um, to approve and sign the time bond contract for MVP Action Grant Project Mill Village Road. at Mill Village Road. Second that. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And this is for you to sign. I think we'll have you sign it during the meeting so we yeah, don't run into this. Uh-oh, we forgot to sign. Come back. Are you Dominic? I am. Happy to talk to you after the meeting if you have questions. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting there. Permit work. Um, permit work on the uh, soldier statue, the obelisk. Just going to update you on that, really. That you, you've already discuss this, um, just that the work is proceeding, um, that it's going to be paid for by alumni from Deerfield Academy, and, um, we'll you know, it. Uh, right, we'll accept it as a gift. Yep. It'll be returned to the obelisk, on top of the obelisk, that we repaired, the town, it's CPA months. Is that on town property? 
or is that one yes no that, no that's our whole curve areas that's okay. our town common okay um, execute the municipal IT project agreement with Northeast IT okay Diana talk about that we have talked about it before yes. <laughs> yeah you awarded the contract at your last meeting um, this is with the community compact grant money um, that the town received I think in FY 16 so mm -hmm. um, you looked I think at the contract Northeast uh, IT had given you last time or the scope of work excuse me and so this is just the agreement that goes with it and it, it has a detailed schedule in there as well and a payment schedule um, so this, the plan is to have the project done by around the first of the year first of the calendar year so. are they going to be able to fix our internet yes and yes. yeah, that's one of our big yeah. big yes. issues in our Wi-Fi um, we'll yep. be, we'll be I'm hoping we can also talk about alternative uh, phone service as well Let's bring that into the conversation mm -hmm. the OIP or so I make a motion to approve and sign the contract for execute the municipal IT project agreement with Northeast IT. Second. Any further discussion? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. So that is that. Okay. Do we have any new business? Uh, well, we we won't have a press release for um, the next week's meeting, September 26 at six o'clock here. Next, so next Wednesday at six o'clock here in the town hall, um, the public is invited to attend a listening session on the Deerfield Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness (MVP) plan at 6 p.m. here in the town offices. The town of Deerfield has recently developed an MVP plan assessing the town's vulnerabilities and strengths in handling severe weather events, which are expected to become more frequent with climate change. The completed MVP plan allowed Deerfield to become a state-certified MVP community and makes Deerfield eligible for additional state grants to implement the plan's recommended, recommended actions. Deerfield has all received additional grant monies this year to design a replacement for a problem culvert on Mill Village Road, which is what we just signed the contract tonight. This session will provide residents with the opportunity to hear about the MVP plan, to make suggestions for additions or changes to the plan, and to consider targets for additional state grant funds to implement projects to reduce the town's vulnerability to severe weather events. The idea is hopefully people that especially live on North Main Street, Kelleher Drive, Captain Lathrop Drive, you will show up and you will say, oh my goodness, we have too much flood water. We need to work on that culvert on Kelleher Drive. We need to work on Bloody Brook. Um, the Mosquito District is ready to say it's a public health hazard. We need to build our story, so please come. This has many hundreds of thousands of dollars of impact, so this will impact your tax bill eventually. So please come to save so we can apply for grant money to get this to address this issue. If, even if you're not concerned about flood water, you should be concerned about your tax bill. We need people to sign in, come to the meeting so that we will qualify for this grant. This is the listening session and suggestion session is part and review of what we're outlining for possibilities for grant money is part of the process. This is the new program that we have to jump the hoops for. We are one of the few communities in the state that are already certified. We're in the first in the line. We need to take advantage of that situation and we need people to show up. So please come next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Thank you. Okay, move is there anyone that would like to make a public comment? No? Okay. Of course. Sure. Yes. Thank you. I just had a couple of HCA questions, if that's okay. So my name is Tom Vega. I'm a four-year resident of Eastern Avenue. Here is my very first uh, selectmen's meeting. So. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, on the HCA agreements, um, does the public have access to the environmental impact studies or the social impact studies? Were they done um, for the town? regarding the HCAs? The host agreement? Yes. No. No. Okay. 
So my next follow-up question is, how did we come to 3%? That's the maximum we're allowed by law. And that was voted by town meeting. And that was voted by town meeting. Okay. Last April. So, so there are no studies for the marijuana establishments done, period, or? It was voted, uh, it was voted by ballot. The town voted by ballot to accept marijuana okay. facilities in town in okay. November of, was it 2016? 16. Very good. And then again at town meeting. And then again at town meeting. So. Very good. But okay. I know, um, talk about the Board of Health bylaw. I think that would okay. really answer some of his I, concerns. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, I have been attending meetings for three or four years on this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, every single time that the Department of Public Health has any kind of outreach meeting, I'm going to, the information changes, we try and adapt, and we had a whole laundry list of stuff mm. that we're concerned with. Sure. And when any establishment gets up and running, we are going to establish Board of Health regs and work with whoever gets the license. Right now there's no license been issued and the stuff changes on such a regular basis. We, didn't, we decided not to include those uh, particulars in the host agreement because it bogs down the host agreement and if the situation changes, if something that we hadn't even addressed or thought of, we have to open the host agreement all over again and, and change it. So the idea is to have all those issues addressed as Board of Health regulations and then we can change them as the issues come up and, and address them as issues come up. So and, and it just takes us to post a meeting we can talk about it, and we can change the regulations. And if, if you have suggestions, you're always welcome to hear, you know, hear but your suggestions. There isn't, at this, at the, the problem is it's a new industry. Even all these things are out from Colorado and California and stuff. The, it, it's relatively new here, and there's already legal battles going on for it. The industry is fight, suing the CDC, you know, the Cannabis Commission. And it just, it doesn't make sense to have so much angst about, What's going to happen? Just wait until someone comes, and we're going to, you know, monitor them as it, we go. Make sure we're protected. I'm, as I'm, a town. I, I'm, I'm trying to get us to agree. We haven't even talked about it because, you know, although I've been beaten up on them, both of them already, but you know, uh, we're we are trying to get um, training for the fire districts and their South County, and have make sure we have adequate equipment, and that seems to be like the most cutting edge kind of discussion at the moment. Um, other Board of Health issues we were concerned about or I was concerned about is if, you know, food items are being um, sold, what, how, how many food inspections and how do you regulate the amount of stuff in the food product? Or what is our responsibility of that and how much is the state's responsibility? Because, I mean, obviously we're going to have to get some training if we're going to be doing other things than, I mean, I'm food certified so I can do the inspections, but on well, regular food. I don't know anything about just, marijuana. And just to add levels. to that, um, there was an article in the paper recently that talked about um, uh, about the testings. You know, a lot of the, th I, think it was, I think it was the state of California, they went and tested everything that was on the shelf, or, and a lot of it either had pesticides in it or it wasn't at the right level. And some of it was just packaging, like the THC level was too high and they had to repackage. So there's a whole bunch of learning still going on and how, you know, how are we going to protect our people and make sure that testing facilities and mass are up, up to snuff and ready to go before we get all that stuff my, on the my shelf. My food certification or inspection a license goes till 2020, mm -hmm. but now they're talking about um, having some kind of, you know, special certification that you put on to your license and so you know then they're going to have a whole separate testing kind of thing you know because you this is like you sit for a, a regular test to pass so now they're talking about another whole test just to do, relate to the marijuana and it's like you know i'm not really sure if i want to do the training and be responsible for that kind of stuff because you know so then how, who, who's going to be you know, how we're going to get inspectors, what is our responsibility as a local person. I mean, I'm a, bit, I'm a volunteer, so do I really want that responsibility? It's one thing I could fill in and do a food inspection or go to the craft fairs and do a food inspection. It's another whole thing to me, go in and do the marijuana inspections and be responsible that that level of THC in that brownie is at X. You know, I'm a little bit concerned about that. 
but maybe I'm over, you know, um, reacting to what the situation is. So, you know, again, it's, it's really the absence of information at the moment, so I can't really tell you except that I'm trying to be on top of this as much as possible. And every time there's something coming up, we, you know, try to take advantage of it. We're constantly getting information from Wendy. Mm -hmm. Our lawyer is um, Kate, who is handling this in our um, town council's office, is one of the best in the state on this and seems to be really on top of things. And, you know, we go to conferences and, I don't know, we're trying to be as careful as possible. Right. So I share and your conservative. Concerns. Conservative. I have to say, I'm very conservative. I'm very safety is the number one thing. I'm a, there's n it's not negotiable. Right. And so. Yep. So I share your concerns. Um, Thank you. No doubt about it. Um, and, and I think uh, as I was listening, I had another thought. So is, does the HCA bind the town in the event that there are violations? Are we stuck with these organizations? If um, if you look at it, there are way, you know, I, I can give you my copy. If there are violations and stuff or if they don't pay their taxes, there, there's ways to get out of it. But, but if they down. follow the laws state, and, state. Yeah, and, this, and it's really the state's got to vet them as well. I mean, there's got to be all kinds of, here's, here's our basic host agreement. You can look at it. Um, it's, it's very general, but it gives you the terms and termination and and if they violate anything, you can certainly shut them down, and then they're losing money. So they're not interested in violating anything. Oh, copy no, no, no. Oh, this is we got plenty. Believe me, they're all over the Thank place. You. Thank you. Tom. Yeah. Thank you. One more comment. I just had a question. Originally, I heard that we were going to be. Oh, you got. I'm yelling. <laughs> Julie, you have to introduce yourself to. I will. Sorry. Actually, Hi, and don't leave. I just need to give you something that. Okay. Before you leave. Julie Cavaco, North Hillside Road. Um, Earlier, I remember discussion that our percentage was going to be like 1.75 or 2 percent. How come it's up to 3 percent? That was now? for cultivation. Okay. There is no um, uh, cultivation was a voluntary kind of thing, but the for retail, by law, the maximum is 3 percent, and that's what we voted at town meeting. Oh, minimum, not maximum. Maximum, maximum. Is three. maximum. Right, because I remember you saying, "Oh, we want to be fair to the." Businesses that mm -hmm. we didn't. Pursue. Yeah, there was a back and forth. I think we settled right. that too, right? Yeah, we, we settled, settled right. that too. Right. I just missed yep. that meeting. Okay, yep. great, thanks. That that's a voluntary um, contribution. Yep. Anyone else? Anyone else? Do you want to take a moment and talk about that uh, contributions to the districts and stuff? Um, okay, we can um, do that instead of uh, wait, waiting to the discussion. Well, I mean, I hope you guys will support it. I don't know what you want me to do to tell you. I've been beating on you all for like three weeks. I wanted to make sure that it was it was fair to the businesses. Um, I do wanted to, I did want to find a way to get um, funding to our districts because they aren't part of our town and we can't just you know well, they're we, not we included. We could. I mean, just like we voted to give the town of Montague ten thousand dollars a couple of years ago, we could. Uh, vote to give the district some money too. My concern. Yeah, would but that was a, a that was a vote. one time, and that right. was we kind of agreed. But this was this was we just didn't want to complicate the counting mm -hmm. for stuff. I get it, but I've been reading or listening a lot about this new organization that all these uh, cannabis businesses have now created. It's like their own lo lobbyist, and and they're they're going to sue the Cannabis Commission, and they're standing up for any town, or for their uh, clients, uh, any town that they perceive takes advantage of them. Yeah. So, I mean, I just agree. Think for the, even and though- And that's why we were, um, that's why when I talked to Lisa on Monday, yeah. we, um, she came up with this memorandum of understanding type of thing, a letter of development, or, or Between whatever the two. she called it. Did we'll we'll it get there? that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the idea is that this is, um, it doesn't, it wouldn't come under that whole kind of business with um, the Cannabis Commission. This is, they're voluntarily making that payment. I get it, but I'm just saying that a good lawyer could say, all right, well, in Deerfield's case, you know, they had us sign this voluntary thing. I, I just think for the $5,000, you know, if, if, if this works out to be as, fruitful as you believe it will be, I think that we could... I, I don't, I'm not I, believing I, anything. I think it's going okay. to be, end up being like a package well, store. Council okay. And I think it's way overestimated. Right. Council, I can't remember if this is in one of the host community agreements or in this, that I'm not remembering the name. Do you mm -hmm. have a 
my hand in front of you. I don't. Um, I, I don't either, but it's, it's yeah. a letter um, of development. She has some other language which would sort of protect us in the event yes. of mm -hmm. what Kip is talking about. Well, it's and not so I, much protect us. It's, it's more, it's like this, for the $5,000, it's a red flag that's out there. And I didn't okay. want any of the, the people that were giving these host agreements to all of a sudden be targeted and say, okay, we're going to hold off on this because... I don't, I don't think, uh, I think if you look at the host agreements around the state, there's some pretty egregious ones. I think yep. we've been very fair, and um, it seems like we haven't had a lot of pushbacks. We're not extorting. We're, you know, I think we're trying to do the right thing and uh, protect our town, get the money for it. But, you know, and, and then I, I agree with your premise. I just wanted to make sure it was legal and, and that we weren't putting an onus on, on the businesses that, you know, that we didn't Obviously. have the right to. But that makes sense. I mean, I just, so I'm, I'm open to that. When, when, that, when we see it next week. Um, okay, did you have any other questions? Because I, I asked, the only other information that I had gotten from you, gotten since the last time I talked to you, was this two week kind of thing, so that there was, but our, our fire department people, I mean there would be cost to the South County EMS staff, but our uh, fire department's people are volunteers, so. Two weeks, what Two was weeks, that? if you respond to an event at a marijuana, Establishment, mm -hmm. they automatically oh, put have you on two a week paid leave so that anything that you've ingested it doesn't affect your, a, your, your right, CDL you license your, or something. Right, yeah. CDL licenses, it's cleared yep. your system, you've cleared, you go and you get your blood tested and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so you're clear. And I, again, these are costs that, you know, if who knows what's going to happen. Probably right. there will never be an event. Right. So hopefully. 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 But there ha it has to be some kind of training. And I know there's a cost for the fitting of the air packs correctly. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that is something that if you, and, and wash machines and all that kind of stuff. So, but that, what this payment will do will actually help our districts with any kind of carcinogenic kind of exposure because um, you know, you're having a correct fit on your air pack and you're having your um, clothes and equipment washed correctly. So, okay. I mean, to me, it's a good investment. And it, yep. it will get our districts up to code if they need help getting up to code. I, I'm, okay. I'm on board. I'll just okay. look at it next week and All right. sign away. Wendy, do you want to make any yeah, um, report? Yeah, a few things. Not long, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I um, was talking with Barbara and about a uh, special town meeting, what mm -hmm. date might work. We've got some monetary items. We could also talk with the finance committee about whether um, that would prefer it as a free cash transfer or, or um, I mean, a reserve fund transfer or a free cash appropriation. Um, this is um, for the senior center, right? That's one, one thing. One Legal bills we might also... Um, okay. I, I have to look at all of that. I've been fairly okay. preoccupied with everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I, I'm keeping a list of things. The CIPC bylaw, um, the Conservation Commission right. uh, art vote. Um, oh, did we get the warrant article sorted out on that, the conservation? Do, I no. mean, we just have to do the warrant article to go yes, from Yes, we don't have to, to have special okay. legislation or anything okay. like that. Um, do I, I don't have the language. I'll get that from council, but that's how we would do it. Do you have dates you never did it before. already that you're thinking of? Yes, or that's I, what I was, I was going to ask you. Um, yep. What we were looking at uh, was uh, October 29th. Um, there's got to be a 20-day pre-voter registration period. Um, that means we would have a warrant for you by the 3rd. Uh, oh, I have to have two weeks to do that. Wait a minute. Uh, no, I have to. T that would give us time if we if I I don't have to have two, two weeks after the third is okay. when we can, the earliest time. So we, Barb and I were just working through the schedule. I haven't checked with council or with uh, Dan Graves yet. This is just this week. Just giving you a heads work. up about yep. that. Um, so if it wasn't the 29th, what day, other day would we be? Um, just I just want to make sure there's no other conflict. Um I think. I don't know. I had the calendar. I have so much paper. <laughs> All right. Things to give you. Did you see a calendar? Maybe I left it on my right desk. No, not that not calendar. That I had a different one <laughs> yeah. with all kinds of options. Oh. Here it is. So, um, 
to move the 20 day. I, I can't think right now. That's Sorry, fine. today and what oh, just happened. No, no, no. We'll yeah, talk yeah, about good. that in a minute. Well, the 20, um, so we just figured up the so warrant, then we need the two weeks. So, you know, the week of the 22nd or the 29th. Um, and we, we just, all things considered, we thought that was the best day yeah. not to go much later than that. Um, I know uh, Waitley's having a town meeting on the 24th. Did you talk about the boo and the money at all? I did not yet. All right. No. So maybe you can after I finish my interviews. Sure. Okay. Um, the senior center. Boo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the assistant town administrator position um, received quite a number of applications, and they're due Friday. Good. So moving forward with that. Um, also, uh, I handed this out to the Finance Committee earlier, but I made copies for you from the school about their process of bringing, maybe you talked about this earlier, Trevor, I don't know, because I was there in the conversation. This is about bringing forward the capital plan. Um, there's one oh, for I have each not. of you. Yes, you I have not, um, have not spoken so, about this yet. Um, okay. And the other thing I want to talk about is um, rescheduling of this special permit of this um, expedited permit hearing. Hmm. I'm looking at if I can get it into uh, an ad into the newspaper on Saturday, then the, it looks like we could have that hearing on the 10th of October. Okay. Um, would that be at the night? Night, um, what time? I mean, it wouldn't be during the day or anything? No. Right? It would, oh, okay. Seven o'clock or whatever. Yeah. Okay. We could integrate it up with other business. Um, oh, okay. I, I think I have to go to Boston that day, so um, as long as, you know, it's like 6 seven, or 7. 7.30. Yeah. You okay. Decide. It's your decision. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we are going to meet next week on the other agreements, yes. and I think Carolyn had something else, but we'll talk after the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the MVP. The, we have to keep No, you had another people. agenda item for the for the board meeting for the 26th. Right. Oh. Just, no, just the host agreement. I thought there was something else you wanted, but okay. I think that was it. Did I forget already? For now. I'm going mental too because there's <laughs> too, much, too much stuff happening. It's a little crazy. Um, at the moment, I can only think that there was the host agreement, mm -hmm. but maybe I'll figure it out by yeah. next I, week. I, I missed what you said to the public when, when you informed them that we would not be going forward with the Special did we, permit we had a, hearing. Did we had a posting, um, uh, we had a posting snafu, so we've got to re redo the posting, and it has to be in a two-week consecutive posting. So I said it would be at least right two away weeks, hopefully two get weeks back. to three we were weeks. looking for a date. We didn't have a date. For I just want to go on record to apologize to the public and to um, the Dumont companies <laughs> and to the contractors and all for the difficulty we've had um, moving that project along. I know you support it. I believe mm -hmm. so. I actually have. What you could look at is a, a draft um, oh, permit thing, which would help guide your Thank you. thinking. Well, we're Just speaking of that. that, you know, we talked briefly before, but tomorrow, if you go and post that, they can put in the paper on Friday, yes? They can't. No, it's, it's gotten a long, I believe, if I get it to them before noon tomorrow, we'll go in on Saturday. I could be wrong, but last I knew it wasn't the overnight at all, so. Dominic, do you know? <laughs> oh, yes, let's ask. No, that's another <laughs> department who doesn't know. All I know is when we put this one in, it was Labor Day weekend, they were short staff, and they made it much longer. It was like three days or something. Well, since like they that. already have the, the wording have to, and stuff like well, that. Well, we just have to, we have to change the dates. We need to change the dates and stuff, but could you call them first thing tomorrow morning, see if they could get it in there for Friday? And then we, is it two consecutive weeks? In two weeks before, we could have a meeting on the second or the fifth, couldn't we? I'm available whenever you guys can get it done. I can adjust my schedule because this is really important. So okay. It doesn't matter what I, I mean. I, I, I will try whatever to. Yeah, whatever yeah. you can but do. But as, as, as I learned, as we've all learned, I think haste makes waste. There was a lot of haste with this. Well, I, I get it, but I'm this is costing. This can't go wrong. <laughs> This has to go right. right. So. If we have things that we have to deal we with, will I mean. send the letters out out of our office, and we'll take care of everything. Okay. So right. yes, I'll. Yeah, okay. whatever you can do, and let us know. We're happy to come at a moment's notice. You have anything else, Trevor? 
Um, I, well, just uh, I had a um, board of oversight meeting at the senior center last night. We're readjusting our, our budget. Our budget was um, inaccurate, to say the least, um, when we came forward for FY19, and uh, we'll be putting a presentation together um, for town meeting, special town meeting by the board um, to just explain how we, we've completely flipped that budget on its head and how we how we're um, allocating the money that we get per senior and how we're allocating the uh, SIG grants and the grants that we do get to um, do programming and how we fund our how we fund our positions, our director and, and uh, programs coordinator and outreach. And um, everything was kind of done a little backwards and it was done with, um, you know, good intention. But, but what was happening was any time that we had an increase in per senior payment, we just reduced the assessment to the town instead of giving our seniors what they deserve for programming and money. Um, and. I'm just advocating on behalf of our seniors for, for more funding, and hopefully the town will support that. And we're going to justify, you know, where we were and where we are now. So I'm hoping that people will support our seniors to do that. So I hope you, so, too. Did you come up with a figure? Yes, but it's in a different book. Okay. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a... $20,000? Yeah, total. So for us, it would be about 10, roughly 10. Oh, I thought it Okay. I, if, I, if I'm right. I, I think that was I'm almost... Right. No, I think it's 10, 5, and 5, if I believe it right. But we have questions, um, you know, uh, that came up. Uh, you know, I'm new to that board. I've been a couple of years, but that's, that's new in this game. Um, and I haven't been around for 12 years like the other members. So I didn't really understand, you know, when we laid out what our budget was and how it was broken down, I think the other towns had a different understanding of who paid for what and uh, versus maintenance, that kind of thing. I had it in my mind kind of mirroring it off of SCEMS, but that really wasn't the agreement that was made 12 years ago when this kind of came together. So um, there was some pushback from them, and I just, we need to iron that stuff out. So we're going to do that and bring it, bring it to everybody and just get it, get it set for the future. As far as the we special the permit, future. the 8th, I believe, um, is, is that Columbus Day holiday? Uh, it's early this year. Yeah, it is like this. So that would, yeah. that's a Monday. So I, I don't think we could do this hearing until the 9th or the 10th. The 9th would be the earliest. That's a Tuesday. Well, yeah, let us know. We'll, we'll be here. Holiday. Listen, nope. we'll just get it the earliest possible, and we'll do it. Yep. Um, I just want to say um, I, I was distracted a bit yesterday at the Homeland Security meeting because of all the flooding mm -hmm. that was happening. So, but... We are um, um, sponsoring, um, I'm, I'm glad we had the IT contract tonight, and that it's supposed to be done as soon as possible because um, we're having, um, we're, we're having a, a, a forum on um, cybersecurity for municipal mm -hmm. officials Good. and, you know, like town administrators and select mm -hmm. boards and whatever. And um, it's an all-day event. Some, we're gonna, it's going to be hopefully sometime in January or February, and um, a you know, date to be determined. But Saturday. No, no, it's, well. Do you want participation? I know, I know. <laughs> this is Homeland Security. But anyway, um, the whole idea is that they're going to explain, you know, I had already offered us as a pilot for the state police to come in and do an assessment and then... Um, you know, give us some suggestions because the state police had been offering or have been concerned about this for more than a year after all that ransom issues mm -hmm. last year. And um, so what we decided to do, we're going to just, but the state police budget has been up in the air for a number of reasons. And so, and they, so they had not had funding to, to pay for someone to come in and do us, so, or any town. Um, so what we did instead is decide as a council that we're going to spend the money to get the information out as much as possible and start the process and do an over, you know, give people tools to do an overview themselves. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully the state police will come out with standards and that, again, we can volunteer. I'll make sure we get volunteered and so that it won't cost us anything. And they can come in and do an assessment, on-site assessment for us. But 
you know, we just, I mean, this would be a big step to hear. And they're just not, they don't have the expense, they just don't have the money for it at this moment. Although there is real interest. So the council is going to follow up on it. And I, so as soon as I get a date, I'll let you know and um, so we can participate. Because I think it's, this is really serious, I think, um, you know, for us to be, I know I'm technology challenged, but we as a town need to get a handle on this and get ahead of the curve for, mm -hmm. this is because a lot of stuff hap is happening. Not going away. We now have insurance. <laughs> I know. <laughs> for this. Yeah, for this. It's offered free for one year, an introductory through Maya. Nice. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, so did you, um, did you talk to Maya about the insurance so that's straightened out? Okay. Church building. The church building. Mm -hmm. I saw your email on that. No, we have not done the minutes yet. Thank you. Um, we had a late-breaking prepared set of minutes for you. Yes, I, I've read them. Um, I, I would make a motion to first um, uh, accept the minutes of August 22nd, 2018. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then a second set. Uh, make a motion to approve the minutes of September 5th, 2018. And I'll second that, too. Any further discussion on those? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you for getting those out. It's a yes. huge task. Pat was very helpful. Great. Great. Thank you, Pat. Are we done? Yes. I think so. I want to make sure you sign everything before you've signed yes. everything. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sign we have to sign one. a warrant. I just, I just want to mention that um, the recent flooding that we had on Tuesday, Everything is wet again, so please be diligent about patrolling your yards and making sure all your pots under your saucers, under your plants, everything is dumped because we are going to have West Nile disease right until frost. I, I don't want to make you feel bad, but I have about 20 acres underwater. So. I know. Well, Do you really? Wow. It's bad. You get those discs and throw them out and get them at Home Depot. Yeah. Um, on the serious side, um, there was a triple E... Um, case in the um, um, eastern part of the state, the first one of the um, season. So even though West Nile has been terrible, it has been a good triple E year. So, um, But uh, just be careful now until frost. Thank you. Especially if you're older. It's really the older people. How old if you're, is old? If you're over 60. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so there's quite a few of us. Yeah, it always feels funny when we want to help our seniors. He talks about wanting to help our seniors. I know. Trevor. <laughs> it's a huge, it's a huge it's, and it's only growing, the population. I think it's Excuse 43%. Me. I know. <laughs> but you know. I'm, a, I'm a, in that category. <laughs> well, you can do a lot. Mosquitoes really don't travel very far. So if you patrol your yard and you convince your neighbors to patrol their yard and you try to do as much as you can to limit, eliminate the mosquitoes in your area, in your neighborhood, it will help and I'm sorry there's not much you can do when everything is so wet but hopefully we'll have a lovely weekend so make I make a, a motion to adjourn second dissolve second all those in favor aye, aye. aye.